Hello students, hope you are all fine. Today we will start a new chapter of social studies that is our government. In this topic we will learn about government, branches of the government, levels of the government. So let's begin with our government. Group of people that make rules for a country form the government. It ensures that rules are followed throughout the country like in school we have some people who make law rules so that school can function properly similarly in a country like India there are some people like our Prime Minister President Chief Minister that makes rules for the country so that our country functions properly but the question is why do we need a government we need government to carry on smooth functioning of the country. Without the government, it's not possible to manage a country as big as India. To provide justice to the people for free and fair election, we need a government. Children in India, our government is divided into three branches, namely legislative, executive and judiciary. Legislative or parliament makes laws for the country. Once laws have been made and passed, the executive makes sure that these laws are followed by the people. The next and the most powerful of the three branches is judiciary. Judiciary consists of all the courts of the country, like the district courts in the cities, then there are high courts in the capitals of the various states and one supreme courts. People can go to these courts to seek justice. So children, we can say that there are three branches of government that is legislative, executive and judiciary. Now children, we will learn about the three levels of the government that is central government, state government and local self government. Dear children, as you know that we have numerous towns, cities and villages and a very large population. So it's not possible for one government to look after and take care of the needs of all the villages and cities. Therefore, there are three levels of government that central, state and local self-government. The central government looks after all the important matters related with finance, defense and international affairs. At the state level, we have the state government that looks after the law and order, transport, health and welfare activities. Local self-government. The local self-government is the government formed by the people of a village, town or city. It takes care of the local problems and looks after the needs of the local people. At the village level, the, self -lo the local self-government is known as Gram Panchayat. Panch means five, so the word panchayat means a council of five members. Villagers who are 18 years of age and above can vote to choose the member of the gram panchayat. An elected member is called the panch. The elected members elect a head of the gram panchayat who is called the pradhan or sarpanch. There has to be at least one woman, woman member in gram panchayat. The work of the Gram Panchayat includes cleanliness of the village by providing better hygienic conditions, provide drinking water, provide good quality seats and manures to farmers, settling disputes between villagers. Children in towns and cities, the local self-government are called municipalities and municipal corporations. The head of the municipality is known as the chairperson. The head of the municipal corporation is known as the mayor. The municipalities and municipal corporations have similar responsibilities such as collecting garbage, providing safe drinking water and electricity, building and repairing roads and maintaining government-run schools. Now let us revise what we have learned so far. We have learned that the government in India has three branches, the legislative, the executive and the judiciary.
the government in india functions at three levels central state and local the local government is the government formed by the people of a village town or state at the village level the local self government is known as the gram panchayat in towns and cities the local self governments are called or called the municipalities and municipal corporations children i hope that you have understood this topic thank you